from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. Hi there, I'm Wendy Ryan. Jason Adams has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. A scary thief is on the run right now. Cameras capturing him trying to steal a necklace and earrings right off of a woman's body outside the La Placida Mexico supermarket on North 10th Street in Haines City. Call Crime Stoppers if you know who this guy might be. Celebrate safely. That's the message from Hillsborough County leaders as we enter the holidays. It seems every year celebratory gunfire hurts someone around the Bay Area. Just last year, a stray bullet hit someone at Bush Gardens. The rebuilding process from Hurricane Michael moving forward slowly. The mayor of Mexico Beach says just 500 out of the town's 2,700 homes are livable two months after the storm. The mayor says 10 condo buildings survive, but they need major repairs before people can move back in. And it might be months before people can live there again. In other news, new numbers show authorities are arresting fewer juveniles in the state of Florida. The amount of arrests going down 8% in Hillsborough County over the past year and Pinellas County dropped 2%. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement says we just saw our lowest number of juvenile arrests in 43 years. Meantime, St. Pete police shopping for children in need today. Officers buying toys for children of homicide victims as well as 25 kids in the parks and recreation programs. Now here's Jason Adams with your forecast. Jason after a chilly start to the day, we're actually going to stay right where we were for our Monday forecast around 60 degrees. So 40s for most of us, perhaps a few upper 30s to start your day Tuesday here north of I four, but the afternoon not much warmer 61 in Tampa, 58 in St. Pete, 59 in Spring Hill and Inverness, 60 in Day City. We will see more sunshine tomorrow, so that's the good news. It'll be at least a prettier day, but it's still going to be on the cool side. 63 in Arcadia and Venice, Bradenton at 62, Avon Park and Lake Placid, low 60s. We average low 70s this time of year. So again, not much change temperature wise, but at least we get the sunshine back after a pretty cloudy Monday. Wendy. All right, thanks, Jason. And you can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow. Because safety doesn't happen by accident.